Okay, so here's an um, interesting exercise, really great one for scapular control. And you basically just got like a small band uh, wrapped around my hand here, and, and it's basically pulling me backward. All right, I'm basically trying to pull my shoulder into external rotation all the time. And what I'm trying to do is move my shoulder into various positions uh, with this this backward pulling resistance trying to pull me out of position and create issues with, with my shoulder. So it's a very simple drill, but quite effective for keeping good scapular control. So I need to keep it in a downward rotation, um, a downward posterior tilt, and, and maintaining good upward rotation when I move, especially overhead there. So that would be from if you were looking from behind my, my scapula would have been upward rotating then, but the whole time while I'm in this, especially when I'm stuck in this point here, my scapula has to be posterior tilted from the top. All right, so this is, and a thoracic extension is a big part of this one as well. So great exercise if you're trying to build into overhead movements again or, or just trying to regain control of your scapula, build a bit of rotator cuff strength and just challenging it through all these different angles. And it's usually this position here, when your arm's abducted like that, that the, the shoulder's very vulnerable to falling forward and the, the anterior glide and getting pinches through the, the, the tendons and you'll see the arm fall forward. So, you know, it's in this sort of static, because the band's pulling backwards, in this static sort of strengthening while you're trying to move in multiple directions. So. It's quite a handy little drill um, that you could use in that sort of uh, stage where you've improved your mobility and you're trying to regain some strength, but you're not quite there yet. And you, you know there's some stability issues, but um, you, you're trying to get some control over movement. So a great one if you're, for those persons struggling, uh, you know, to make that, that, that transition, which is always a difficult part of the process in with the shoulder training and neck training and elbow training um, all, all of them are related to scapular problems so this is a great scapular related drill all right so all you, all you need to make sure that you only use a very light band it's a very very light band you don't need anything heavy at all on this one all right so i hope you uh, helped enjoyed that video and we'll see you next time